Hey. <laughs> Did I scare you? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, honestly, I didn't mean to, I promise, I promise. I just wanted to check up on you and see how you're getting on. I know you've been working pretty hard recently, so I just wanted to check in on you. Yeah, I can tell you're stressed. I've I've been a bit worried about you, to be honest. And I think you should have a break. I know you don't want one, but I think you need one. And I've had a little idea. Well, you know I have my hair and beauty practical next week. Yeah, the haircut one. I need to do a haircut on a real life person and not just another mannequin this time. <laughs> so I've been looking to do some practicing and I thought maybe I could give you a haircut. I won't do anything drastic, I promise. It'll be just a trim. Oh, babe, come on. You deserve a little bit of pampering after working so hard. You don't think I'm going to mess it up, do you? <laughs> exactly. So, come on, you deserve a rest. Yeah? <laughs> I knew I could convince you. <sighs> okay. Let's see, uh, if you could just move over here, yep, right there, and let's see what we're working with. Uh, I've always been jealous of your hair. The colour, the length, the style. It just suits you so much. And that's why I don't want to do anything drastic, like I said. It's just going to be a trim here and there. I'll go over here, and then here, and here. Okay, I think I've got it all figured out. <laughs> I'm just get my scissors. And I think we should be good to go. Uh, just sit up straight for me. Exactly, that's perfect. And let's get started. <laughs> let's start here. I said just now that you deserve rest. And I think you need to remember that for yourself sometimes. I know you want to get your work done, but you shouldn't do that at the cost of your own well-being. Yeah, I know it's easier said than done, but I can help you with that. That's what I'm here for. I mean, you helped me when I've needed a break, so it's only fair that I do the same for you. Because you deserve it. You work really hard and you deserve some relaxation, some time to switch off from it all and Connect with the people you love. It really grounds you. Exactly. Just being away from it all for a while, it, it recharges you in a way. You can't be working yourself to the point you're 
mental battery is completely gone. Uh, hang on, let me just get this here. There we go. It's, it's almost like your phone, right? If you see the battery is going low, then you're going to charge it before it reaches zero. And that's kind of what we have to do as well. We need to see when our batteries are low and recharge so that we're able to power on and do our stuff. Um, odd analogy, I know. <laughs> but you get my point, right? We need to recognize when we're feeling low and when we're running out of energy and allow ourselves that time to rest. I know we can feel a bit selfish at times, but it's what we have to do. Uh, can you tilt your head a little bit? Uh, the other way. Yeah, there, that's perfect. It is difficult for me to see you feeling so low. Uh, gonna have to get up close. Hang on. Just stay like you are. There we go. No, no, don't apologize. I mean, thank you for the apology, but you haven't done anything wrong. You've just been overworked. And to be fair, I should have intervened quicker. I, I should communicate these things better. I just don't want to disturb you and, well, whatever, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we're recognizing this and we're going to work through it. We're spending this time together now and I'm getting practice for my assessment. <laughs> no, but we're having this time together and we're going to work through this together. Because that is what we do. That's what partners do and that's what we're here for. We're here for each other like that. And I think we forget that sometimes. You know I have that tendency to... Well, I think we all do, don't we? We tend not to reach out about things because... We see how much other people have going on and, well, we, we don't want to bother them. We don't want to add more stuff to their plate and we end up just holding things in and just going on through regardless and that's not healthy. I told you before, right? I'd always do that, and... I realised that asking for help and taking a break is just so much more easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought it would be this difficult thing. It always seems to be, but it never is. And, and let me, I'm gonna have to do the uh, very close up thing again, so just keep still. There we go. But yeah, it's always, well, it's always easier than you think, and I know sometimes it feels like you can't have a break. It feels like 
tunnel vision is is that what it's called it's like you, you can't see anything else but there is room to do more things there is room for yourself and you just don't realize it but it's there it's there and it's just waiting for you to recognize it <laughs> mm -mm. ooh my nose is itchy <laughs> okay we're good now we're good <laughs> Anyway, my rambling aside, I think a good idea would be to plan some dates. I think it would give us some time to, well, spend time together. I think it would be good for you and good for us. Um, weather permitting, obviously. <laughs> But where could we go? Uh, I heard that there's this new restaurant uh, next door to... Uh, oh, what's the place? Uh, yeah, yeah, that place. Uh, I think it's Italian. So you know I love my Italian food. <laughs> so I would love to go there with you. Um, where else? Um, oh, what about that arcade place we went to before? Uh, yes, the one where you beat me at the racing game. You always have to bring that up. Uh, come on, babe, come on. I lost because that was my first time playing. You are an expert at that game. You are a pro. Babe, that's not me being a sore loser. That's me stating facts. Oh, you're saying about a rematch now? You know I can't say no to that. <laughs> But, if we are going to have a rematch, then I have one condition. You buy me ice cream afterwards. Yep, regardless of the result, whether I win or lose, I want some ice cream. Because there are some new flavours there and you know I want to get in and try them. So, rematch with some ice cream? Yes! <laughs> uh, the new flavour I want to try is... Mm, they got a few. There's some new fruit flavours, like cherry. And I think they have some tropical fruit one. I don't know the name of it. Um... But there's also chocolate marshmallow. Now that, you know I need to get in. You know I have to try that one. I love my chocolate. <laughs> what else could we do? Um, I think there's... Um, do you remember by the beach? Um, they were doing work on that uh, little walkway. Yeah, well, I think that is done now, so we could go there, have a nice long walk on the beach. <laughs> I know it's cheesy, but come on, it would be nice. Just to take in the nature and the sand and the sea and the sun, all of it. Come on, it would be fun, you have to admit. See? Exactly. It would be very nice. So, 
we need to start making some concrete plans so that we can spend more time together because I miss you. You've been so tied up in work recently that I've been feeling a bit lonely, but anyway, we've got those plans now and well, ideas that we can turn into plans. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. <sighs> okay. I think... I think we're just about done here. Uh, let me just have a quick all-around check. Uh, ooh, let me get, uh, let me get this and this. And we're done. I think the haircut is complete. Oh, you look so cute. Not to big myself up or anything, not to brag, but I think you look gorgeous. <laughs> oh, let me get you a mirror, actually. Uh, okay, yep, it's over here. Let me just get that. And here you go. Have a look. What do you think? Oh, you like it? Oh, phew. <laughs> you started to get me a bit nervous there. You can't do that to me. But you really do like it. Oh, good. I'm glad. Because you look as beautiful as ever. What? I'm being serious. I think you look stunning. As always. <laughs> but, uh, we do have the hair on the floor to worry about now. <laughs> um, oh, no, no, honestly, you, you don't have to help or anything. I'll clean it up. I mean, this was my idea so really you sure oh, okay then thank you um but also are you feeling better now i hope i've managed to ease your stress just a little bit okay just as long as you know that I'm here for you and I'm here if you ever want a break from everything. I'm always there. But come on, let's clean this up. <laughs>